Hello, welcome to Plant Based Large Family. I'll start with mulching. Uh, we actually only mulched one day this week, and we mulched a little bit that little section right there, but mainly uh, that was the second day. But mainly we mulched uh, one day, and it was all this path along the edge. All up to where you see a lighter color mulch. So that was one day of mulching, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So if we can keep up with the mulching, I think next week we will, part of that I don't need to mulch. Um, where the blue bucket is, I had potatoes there last, last year, and so that's high enough, the mulch is high enough there, I don't need it, but just beyond there it's pretty low. So I need to mulch there. I think we can get that mulched uh, this week. And possibly this um, section, it's pretty low. It hasn't been um, added in a while just because we don't plant here, so I don't worry about it too much, but the weeds are uh, coming back. The big news this week is that I assume it's raccoons. I don't know. We haven't videotaped them or anything, but something came in and ate all our strawberries. And it's so disheartening. I mean, I go through this every year, and for some reason I feel like, well, I know why it is. So we have something to steal all our strawberries every spring and we think it's a groundhog but the only thing we ever catch on video is a raccoon so we do different things and then they'll steal our watermelon as well and our tomatoes and then by the end of the season by like September where we're still getting watermelons still getting potatoes I mean sorry tomatoes and we'll be getting raspberries at that point um, we'll find something that seems to work and it just does the trick uh, one year it was electric fencing, um, one year it was just actual fencing, and this past year it was these uh, motion sensors. So then what happens is it works in the fall, so then the next spring we spend money that we don't want. I mean, you know, we, try, I don't know if you know this, but we try to not spend a lot of money um, on our garden. That's the whole point of gardening to me is to save money. And so, but we spend money that we didn't want to spend on this thing, this, you know, cure or whatever that's going to keep the animals away. Um, and then it doesn't work in the spring. And that has, has happened every single year. Uh, with the fencing doesn't work anymore. The, uh, the electric fencing, the actual fencing, and then we've been using these and something still got every single strawberry, all the red ones, all the pink ones, and even a lot of the green ones. So we put up an actual fence around both strawberry patches. We put up the, uh, um, you know, the motion sensors and uh, we realized that this is kind of, kids are great, <laughs> but they don't pay attention to things quite as much as adults. And so um, they weren't turning them on all the way. So, you know, we made sure that they're now turned on all the way. And then we also set up the electric fencing. So we'll see. It, we just did this like yesterday. And um, so because, because we've been spending this whole time doing this fencing and setting up all this, and we took a little trip to the beach, uh, we didn't get very much mulching done. But that's our news for this week. Um, other than that, some of the things that I planted have come up. So I have some snap beans right here that have come up. Um, we are harvesting some peas. And we harvested the last of our romaine lettuce this week. And so we are harvesting some of this uh, butter crunch lettuce. And I think just past the apple tree, we harvested the last of the asparagus, which we, it takes us a little while to get used to getting asparagus from the garden. So it's kind of sad because we had just gotten used to, oh yeah, we go harvest asparagus every day and we eat it every day and it's so good steamed. Um, but you can see all those lying on the ground. I'll try to walk over there a little bit. The fencing's kind of in the way. You can see all of these lying on the ground. These are the ones that at the beginning of the season, I completely forgot there were asparagus even out here until they had already gotten too big. So, but, um, it's been about three or four days since we've seen any asparagus come up. So I think we're done with asparagus, which I guess that's normal. I don't know. This, is that normal? It's, um... What is it? It's mid-May. 
So this is, um, this is the first year we've harvested asparagus, so I'm definitely a newbie. I planted more snap beans down here that they've started to come up. Um, and then I planted a lot of beans right here, and nothing has, well, very little has come up. This is the section that I planted potatoes last year, if you remember, and they didn't do well. This is a section that's just kind of, um, it just doesn't do well. I think it's just because it's so soggy. But I was trying to plant beans to help, you know, refresh the soil or whatever. And you can see some, like one here, three here, um... Interestingly enough, I planted peas just because I had extra seeds. Those have actually come up, but not the... I planted lima beans here and azuki beans, and it looks like only a few beans have come up. Um, so, that's disappointing. I don't know. I want to do something with this section. Maybe I'll do some trees because... I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. So, one thing that came up, I hope you can see it, is... Um, corn that I planted. I planted corn in a couple places and then around the corn that's just volunteer um, watermelon. Or watermelon. We planted watermelons here last year. Um, so I do need to add some chicken manure around here because I never added any sort of compost but um, they're looking good so far. And then I also have corn that I planted in around the strawberry patch. This actually used to be a box but uh, I think it's about seven years old, and it just disintegrated eventually. Um, so I have some corn and some cucumbers and then volunteer tomato that I'm just going to kind of let hang out in here. So I think that's all as far as new things go in the garden. Um, other than that disappointing mess with something stealing our strawberries, everything else looks to be growing really well. We have some tomatoes. Try to find them. We have some tomatoes growing. Um, we have peppers that are flowering. Um, we're harvesting some basil. Eggplants don't look great. I've actually never grown eggplants uh, before, so y'all let me know. These actually came with all of those holes. I mean, they've grown. They've gotten bigger. But when I got them at the store, I bought them as transplants, they ha already had holes in it, whereas nothing else did. So I didn't really think... I don't know, I didn't think anything about it, but um, the, holes, the whole situation isn't getting better. Um, and I can't see what is actually making the holes. So if you, you know, if you grow eggplant, please let me know what's going on, what I can do about it. But that is the garden update for the week. Not a ton of new things going on. I do love seeing all the green and not a lot of weeds. My favorite part about Back to Eden. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.